the brand new 2022 Maverick X3 DS Turbo. What was your name? My name's Ray. Ray, okay. Well, Ray's gonna walk me around my brand new Can-Am 2020, uh, 2022. Really, it's a 2022, yeah. right? It's a, it's a X3 Max DS Turbo. Right. With more letters behind that or whatever, I don't know. So 91 octane only, so the high stuff. Yeah. How big's the gas tank? That I'm not sure of. Okay, um, so. But you're looking at quite a few gallons. I'm thinking it's gonna be more than 10 or about. Okay. So, do you want to jump in on the Yeah, side? let me jump in on the pass or the driver's side. I get, I get to jump in on the driver's side. Are you freaking kidding me? This is what happens when you have more money than brains. <laughs> okay, so, you know the steering wheel is tilt. No, I don't know anything. Okay. So, like... So, right here, you have a lever, and you can adjust okay. your steering wheel. There you go. Down or up, it's up okay. to you. Cool. It doesn't go in and out. No. Right? So that's it. Okay. And then two, start the engine. You're going to put the key in. Okay. You're going to go over here and you're going to hit start. Okay. You're going to watch your screen. So put the key in and then hit start. Hit start. Now we've already uh, programmed your key to performance. Okay. Uh, so it, it'll be wide open when you do go. Okay. Oh, I got a full tank of gas too, huh? Uh, possibly pretty close to it. No, you're not full, you're half full. I'm half full, okay. okay. All right. So this is gonna be your 5150 for the whips. <coughs> and you hit that, and if you look behind you, they're on. Oh, wow, okay, now, cool. here's something else that you get. Now, we didn't take the key out of this. This is your remote or your whips. <laughs> okay. Um, the, I believe the uh, battery has still got the little plastic on it, so okay. it might not work. Um, but you can go, yeah, it's still got the plastic on it. Oh, we can take that off. Go ahead and rip, rip the plastic. Go ahead, man. Have, have the honors. Pull that. Pull it off and let's get it done. I'm taking this dumb thing off, man. You know what? I'm stupid. There we go. That's on. That's number one. Cool. That's number two. So Christmassy. Yeah, that's number three. All right. As you go through the functions, you'll get different. Cool. That's five. Right on. But if I'm trail riding out, the trees and stuff don't use that, right? I would. <laughs> oh, you would with the trees? Okay. It's not, it's, it's all they LED, so it's not gonna set fire to anything. No, I get that. I'm just worried about ripping them off. Oh, well, <laughs> they flex enough. Like, okay. you'll see these all over Glamis and stuff, so I just right. turned them off. We're gonna turn them off here. Okay. Put this in. Now, in here, you have your tools. Okay. You have your, That's for your V-belt. Okay, change the belts and stuff. Right, All right put cool. this back in here. I don't know how to change, I'm not very mechanical, but we'll figure it out. You can look on YouTube. Yeah, the, hey, there's an idea, we should go on YouTube. Okay, um, so you have trail and active trail. Active okay. trail is like, if you're gonna do like rock climbing and stuff, you wanna go with this. Okay. Here's for your differential lock, you're in two right now. Okay. That would be the four, <laughs> now you're locked into four. Okay. We're gonna stick it here because we're on the street. Right, okay. All right. Now, here's what's cool is everybody thinks this override is to give you more power. Okay. It is, however, it is not to give you power when you're in high or low. It's for power in reverse. So say your buddy gets stuck. Okay. And he's up ahead with you. You're going to tie a tow rope to him. You're going to tie right. a tow rope to him. You, you're going to put this in reverse, and you're going to hold this down. And okay. while you're holding this down, you're going to pull him out. That's okay. what that is for. And it says override on the dashboard. Right. Okay, cool. See right here. All right. All right. Now work. you have a couple other functions: uh, your drive modes, your trip meter, your menu, and your uh, I can't remember DPS, but right. and I'll get it. I'll, it'll come to me right now. So now. this is different than the uh, 2021s because I have uh, four wheel lock on the fly, right? Yep. But the 2021s didn't have that. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, I think they do on the I, base model though, or on the higher end models. They should all have be able to do it on okay. the fly. Okay. So that you can do on the fly. Now, when you want to turn the unit off, oh, on the side over there, you have your other lights for your, okay. for the front lights up here. There you go. 
Got it. Okay. Low, high, and off. And I have two other switches, so I can go ahead and put rockers. I have three switches. Yeah, if you wanted to put something else, like like you're gonna put the roof. Right. If you put an audio roof. Right. That which would, is a possibility. Yeah, you can put your switches over there for the audio. Roof. Okay. And um, also, you have three empties right here, four, because you can put one here if you have. Okay. To. So you can put more switches if you need it. Comes with cup holders. That's kind of cool. Um, to turn the unit off, you're gonna either yeah, go ahead. And that cuts it, and then pull that. Oh, this just pulls out. Pull off. There you go. It's a little tight. Now it'll take a couple seconds, and it'll power down on its own. Okay. All right. Right here, you have your 12 volt. Got it. So you can uh, charge your phone if you want. Cool. Just so open it too. Yeah, it opens. I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay. So what we have in here is your brake fluid. Stick to whatever it says. If it says dot three, use dot three. If it says dot four, use dot four. Okay. Do not change out. Okay. And then these are your electronics to uh, reprogram. Say you want another key, we would open up, plug into here. Okay. Get another key going. Okay. Now, get outside. I'm gonna go over to your side. Oh, I gotta work on getting out of this thing. Oh, dude, that wasn't very graceful. Yeah. <laughs> Take, take a little practice. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so back here is your V-belt. Right, okay. Um, if you can see in here where my hand is going, this yellow is for your dipstick. Okay. All right, and that's where your oil would go in. Okay. Um, in order to change the oil, you have to siphon it. Okay. So I don't know if the newer, I know the older models, they didn't come with a drain plug, so you had to siphon it. Okay. Uh, so they have a siphon thing. I'm sure I can buy this. Squeeze the little ball and stuff. Right, or you can hook it up to a compressor and it'll do it. Pull up, yeah, right. pull, pull it up, up there. here, your fluid, your air cleaner. Okay. So you can see you're just under, but it was full. But okay. once we started the motor, of course, it's going to suck some down. Okay. That's clean. That's taken care of. Right, cool. Uh, I want to go through. So, for the older models, uh, it was 50 to 100 hours for your first service. Okay. These, this model, it says 100. I still put down 50 to 100, and the reason I put 50 to 100 for your first service is because I don't know how you're going to drive it. For all I know, you could be a racer. I doubt it. <laughs> I am not a racer. We're not doing that. Okay, so then your, your first but service is going to be due at 100. 100 hours? Yeah, 100 hours, okay. which, which is perfect. Um, in your maintenance manual, or in your owner's manual, I'm sorry, your maintenance schedule is on page 115. Okay. Your break-in period is on page 101. Now, I'm going to read you your break-in right now. Yeah, can we do that? Because, I mean, I have time. Can we break it in right now? No, because it takes 10 hours to break it in. Oh, no, but we could we could warm the belt up and do the belt warm-up stuff, that, right? Even, that takes 10 hours as well. Okay. So the whole thing is going it, to, it's a 10-hour break-in. Um, actually, it's, sorry, I'm sorry, it is, yeah, it is a 10-hour, wow. I thought, let me make sure. Sometimes yeah, because I thought the belt, I just thought getting the belt, like, because you can season the belt or what, I don't know what it's called, do not put in the comments, I don't know. But there's something you do with the belt to warm it up to temperature and then let it cool down all the way. No, no. And then warm it all the way up and cool down. I, I don't know, I guess I saw some YouTube videos. I'm asking the professional, so I don't is, know. For the first 10 hours, that is also your break-in period for your belt. Okay. So what you want to do is you, you want to drive it for those first 10 hours less than three-quarter throttle okay okay so you don't want to put a full load on it because that will so i got four people going saturday is that okay that's fine as long as you keep it at three quarter below three so what throttle. speed do you think 10 15 miles an hour oh no come on three quarters on this you're probably uh, like uh, 50. oh like 50. <laughs> yeah. 50 is three quarters Maybe. how fast does this thing go it goes really fast it, it's only a 120 horsepower it goes really fast it goes fast uh so this is the, not good one okay. of the things it is good <laughs> One of the things is if you don't have the seat belt on the driver's side buckled, uh -huh. it, it'll tend to bog down. You have to have that seat belt buckled. Okay, so what because if I- there's a sensor on it. Okay. And that lets it know that, okay- So these seat, these seat belts are going away. I'm gonna put in a four point harness. Okay. Um, Cause they go right through here, right? And then they yeah, just hook yeah, in. Yeah. So is there a way then to deal with that bog down thing? Yeah, the, when you have the seat belts installed, they'll take care of it. I, okay. I, I don't know how to do that. That's so I have to have it installed yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. So somebody else. And just have the roof. Off. I'm going to find out how much to put the roof on it. Um, right. So things you want to avoid in your break-in. Yeah. You want to avoid full throttle. You want to avoid pressing the accelerator pedal more than three quarter of the stroke. 
Okay. Which is what we just discussed. Okay. Um, you don't want to cruise at the same speed. What you want to do is you want to fluctuate your speed. You want to vary your speed so that the pistons can break into the cylinders nicely. Okay. okay. So when I'm on the trail, just kind of up, down, up, down with the Right. Speed. So no okay. prolonged cruising. All right. Um, avoid overheating. So if you feel like maybe you've been out there for like three, four hours, maybe you should take a break. Okay. Do it. Um, will it tell me on the console? Yeah, it will, but okay. I mean, if you're not, most people don't ride all day, you know? No, I, mean? I, I don't the, know. The only way you're going to do that is if you're in a race. Okay, yeah, we're not doing that either. You know you're going to want to stop and eat, have a beer or a soda or something. So. Right, an uh, adult uh, pop. Beverage. <laughs> yeah, new belt break-in period is 30 miles. During this, avoid strong acceleration, avoid pulling loads, okay. and high-speed cruising. So okay. we've already gone over that. Okay. Same thing. Uh, only your break-in period is 30 miles. So it used to be 10 hours was your break-in for the belt, but now they've changed it to the 30 miles. Yeah, the motors are just insane on these. How long? I mean, if you can go okay. 100 hours without changing the oil, that's pretty good. That's almost all year. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, your tire pressure is very high. Like using the left and right and on the street. Okay. Um, once you get out into the sand or the Desert or yeah, this isn't. I don't know if I'm doing sand, but probably a lot of trail, a lot of trail riding. Well, if you feel like like you're sliding around too much, I would definitely suggest Just you drop take out pressure. some air. Ride. Okay, that's fine. Um, don't go below 15 pounds on these. I would stay at around 20. Okay. Uh, you know, if you get into desert, then you might want to take out more air to leave a bigger footprint and get better traction. That's if what she said. <laughs> okay. Uh, other than that, right. you want to uh, avoid over revving and lugging it, which over rev would be, you know, you're just sitting there, wah, wah, wah. You don't want to do that while you're parked. Right. Um, that's pretty much it, man. That's the whole okay. thing. So tow, towing is like right there, right? So if I hook up right there, we're, we're good to go. Right? Right here, right? That's it right there? Yeah, I believe that's the new, so. That's the new tow I've bar. I've never had anybody tow anything. Okay, or pull me out, right? Yeah, that's, well. That's a pull yeah, out. And then up here. That's where you would hook into. And then up here, do I have one of them things? Yeah, right? Yeah, you do. Right here? Yeah, that's solid. You could hook to that. And so, because I'm going to, because I'm going to winch this thing on the, probably the back of the F-250. Because if I drive this up, brown stuff's going to come in my pants. I th wait till you see it tomorrow, dude. It's like five. They, they were explaining it to me and I was like, damn, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's, it's, everybody's coming tomorrow. It's going to be a show. Okay. Yeah, are those all 2022s? Uh, no, those are customer units. Oh wow! Yeah, they so, park them here. Yeah, we park them like that so that we can more people can park along here. Oh wow! Uh, we just and this actual lane right here is for our uh, customers as well. Okay. But as you can see, we have how one many there. how many 2022s do you have in? Right now, I believe two. I believe this one and maybe one other one. Okay. Oh no, there's three. Okay. There's this one. That one? There's one like it in the shop that we're doing a build on. Oh, dude, that's pretty color. That's a pretty yeah, blue. That's a really nice color. I like this, though. I this really is the, like this this is the new blue, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Actually, I was showing some buddies last night. I was uh, at Yorkshire Square, and they were like, unbelievable. What's up? Here, here comes the big boss, man. We all better run. It's the big boss coming in. Hey. What's up, brother? So I got a, I had a question, like more of a concern, like I'm going to put a roof on this thing. Oh yeah. Right. And then the, the whips are like kind of in the way where the roof would go. Yeah. How do I? So whatever, which roof are you doing? I'm going to do the plastic, fantastic okay. roof for 600 bucks. $600 for a plastic roof. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I mean, seriously, condoms don't cost that much. It's a freaking roof. So the holes here, right. a lot of the roofs come pre-drilled with them because they know these are the stuff. Okay, so they're gonna, they're, so, so you just root it, okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be this Because the roof is just a bolt-on roof. It's not that hard to put this on there. We, we, we do those roofs. Okay, yeah, yeah, we do them so because that's one of the first, that, and then I want to get the windshield. Yep, okay, cool. Those yeah. are like the first two things I'm- The one that comes out or the- The fold, the- The, the, the quarry window? The one that has the, the three settings. You yep. can open it and it's, it's the half, yeah, the half, yeah, yeah, the foldable one, yeah. So. Dude, this is this is sick. Yeah. It's freaking raining. Thank thank gosh it's a GoPro. What else what else do I need to know? That's pretty much it. I pretty much got everything. Okay. And then tomorrow is gonna be the gonna be the show. Right? Tomorrow we're coming with the big F-250 and I'm gonna make brown in my pants because we're gonna put this up on the truck. Wait till you see that. <laughs> 